Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be going over that massive winter storm that is set to take place from the central plains back through the Midwest over the next several days. We'll also be breaking down the potential for severe weather in the southern tier of the United States tomorrow. I'll give you the latest breakdown on both of these weather events and more in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today beginning with the northeast where there is still that one little small scale trough that is continuing to move off to the north and east. This did bring actually a tornado to Iowa yesterday. Along with that, it brought a couple of inches of snow back over in Minnesota. But other than that, this is now moving off to the north and east and it will be going away from the United States over the next several days. But once we go further off to the west into areas like the Rocky Mountains, this is where we're watching a low pressure system beginning to strengthen and this will bring a winter storm along with the potential for severe storms in the United States over the next three days. Now, if we take this into motion for the next 24 to 48 hours, snow really picks up across the central plains heading into tonight and tomorrow morning. A bit further off to the east of where this low pressure system is centered is where we'll be watching the potential for severe storms. All modes of severe weather are going to be possible going into tomorrow. Eventually heading into Thursday into Friday, that low pressure system moves further off to the east, bringing maybe a little bit of snowfall back over into the Midwest as well as New England and eventually by the weekend is when we'll watch that move off to the east with another low pressure system developing over the central United States. This one could bring similar threats to this first low pressure system. However, I would expect this to be slightly further to the east for a starting point, meaning snow will likely be more prominent in the Midwest and as well severe weather will be more likely there in the southeast in comparison to the lower Mississippi Valley. Now with all this being said, there are plenty of watches and warnings across the United States today, most of them being for that winter storm beginning with the central plains that is where we have winter storm warnings in effect for those in nebraska northeast colorado and northwest kansas also winter storm watches go all the way into western wisconsin currently those will likely get upgraded to winter storm warnings as we get a bit closer and this is a more close look at things in terms of watches and warnings so you can get a general idea of where you are but if you're in kansas city you're currently not included in any sort of watch or warning for wintry weather now beginning with the timing for tonight we'll begin to see more of that snow action ramp up in northwest Kansas going to around 10 to 11 o'clock tonight so well after sunset by the overnight hours we'll have mostly just rain on the south and east side of the state meanwhile a bit of a mixture with maybe even a little bit of freezing rain from haze back through Beatrice and back up to the northwest there will be probably some at least some moderate to heavy snow back through northwest Kansas into Nebraska by the morning hours we'll be talking about heavier snow bands for those in far northern Kansas meanwhile most Mostly just rain back over on the eastern half of the state and by about lunchtime tomorrow a lot of that snow action in Kansas will begin to wind down maybe just a few flurries for the remaining half of the day Wednesday and going back up into Nebraska this is where I would expect the worst of the winter storm action out of this we'll see snow begin overnight tonight and it will continue throughout the morning hours and even through lunchtime heavy bands of snow from Omaha back through Grand Island and as well as near Kearney eventually going into the afternoon hours we'll have that snow start to move a bit further off to the east closer to the Iowa and Nebraska border so Sioux City will begin to have some heavier snow most likely during the afternoon by the evening hours a lot of light snow action so these lighter blues giving you that accurate representation of most likely just lighter snow by this point and by about midnight going into Thursday morning only flurries if not probably nothing really remaining for those in Nebraska but really in terms of snowfall there's going to be a bunch of snow especially in Nebraska but beginning with Kansas it's it's going to be a pretty sharp divide due to the rain and snow lines so areas like Hayes will be lucky to see maybe an inch back up near McCook though you could be very well talking upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow over in Colby as well going to be right around a half a foot of snow and Hastings likely to be in that 6 to 12 inch range as well Nebraska is a completely different story this is just the computer model estimates right now in terms of snowfall areas near North Platte could very well get upwards of over a foot of snow when this is all said and done so a bunch of snow is coming to Nebraska for those that want it here you go this is your big winter storm here for January as there hasn't really been that many there in Nebraska recently in terms of the entire central uh, plains we're gonna be talking still about a lot of snow northeast Colorado we're gonna be looking at mostly six to twelve inches of snow in those areas parts of Iowa between five to nine inches
inches most likely with a couple of areas maybe getting upwards of a foot of snow if you're lucky now back over into the midwest this will continue to move off to the east there is going to be a potential for some freezing rain so this could equivalent to some ice for those in a very narrow stretch from about nebraska through michigan but going to thursday morning this trough will move off to the north and east heavy snow is likely during the morning hours thursday for those in wisconsin and potentially even in as far, as far south as maybe northern illinois and eventually going into the afternoon hours this trough moves quickly off to the east so snowfall accumulation will not be nearly as significant as what it will be back over in the central plains as this low pressure system speeds up but we are still talking about a good chance for at least four to eight inches of snow and the very highest snowfall totals maybe getting up cl closer to 10 inches maybe back over in the upper michigan peninsula areas like chicago though likely not going to see any snow out of this either so if you're in chicago it does not look like you'll have much of any luck in terms of snow if you're hoping for any of that and as i mentioned before there will be a threat for some ice accumulation especially back through areas in southeast nebraska and southern portions of iowa there may also be a thin glaze of ice for those from michigan all the way through southern sections of wisconsin so this is a possibility make sure you're taking it slow on the roadways untreated roads will be slippery in those locations so be mindful of that for those in those regions now the other big story is the severe weather potential for tomorrow in the southern tier of the united states and there is a slight risk of severe weather from the southern sections of illinois all the way back through east texas it is a pretty large area for sure heading into tomorrow there's also a marginal threat that goes all the way back up into southern indiana and it goes all the way through east texas the main concerns will be damaging winds upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour a few tornadoes not out of the question and maybe some isolated quarter to half dollar sized hail so a general look at lunchtime tomorrow this will be a pretty massive area to watch because we're going to have severe storms extending in a very large chunk of the ohio valley as well as through the lower mississippi valley but storms will really fire up we'll have a little line of storms extending from about northeast arkansas back through louisiana with more isolated severe storms being possible back up in kentucky and indiana by the evening hours that line shifts to the east severe weather threat will diminish after sunset it will still exist but it will be a lower chance and eventually going into the evening and overnight hours that cluster moves off to the east with mainly if any severe weather remains it'll be damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour going into the timing more specifically in the southern tier of the united states for those in the lower mississippi valley storms will fire up in the morning for those in northern louisiana near monroe and shreveport these may produce an isolated severe weather threat by the afternoon that line continues to move off to the north and east potentially producing damaging winds and maybe a little bit of isolated large hail and also a brief tornado or two are not out of the question by the evening and overnight hours that line strengthens maybe a smidge around sunset but it should start to gradually weaken out as it moves off to the east still posing at least some gusty winds as it heads into areas like uh, mississippi and as well as alabama back up in arkansas storms will fire up during the late morning and early afternoon line of storms will really roll through areas in jonesboro as well as back through pine bluff during the early afternoon by the evening hours memphis tennessee and anywhere over in western tennessee will start to get impacted by this and by the late evening all the storm action will clear out of arkansas back into mississippi and alabama this will be an area for more of a after sunset threat unless you're in far western mississippi damaging winds being the main concern but an isolated couple of tornadoes are not out of the question this is 10 o'clock tomorrow night jackson will be seeing some storms most likely around that time frame and by midnight into the overnight hours areas in uh, birmingham and tuscaloosa will get involved in some shower and storm activity and this will shift off to the east pretty quickly with only a little bit of rain and maybe gusty winds remaining by the morning hours on thursday severe weather heading into thursday there won't be much of it a very tiny marginal threat of severe weather is including western georgia and eastern alabama for a couple of isolated damaging wind reports thanks for watching this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting